Hey everyone, just wanted to go over a task that we have for this week. We'll have a new assessment workout. It should be in your profiles today, uh, assessment number three, assessment workout three. And uh, this task is going to be also to try and carve out some time and attempt to hold a plank, the front lever plank, for three minutes. Um, so there's a couple things about that that you can use to help yourself out. So number one, if you can't hold the plank, uh, you should have a stopwatch available. And um, obviously when you start the plank, you'll hit your stopwatch. If you can't hold it and just need to rest your knees, hit stop. And then when you're going to go ahead and hit start again, so that even if you don't hold it for three minutes consecutively, uh, we want to have at least three minutes of you holding your body weight up in the air uh, and hopefully a pretty quick amount of time. If you are doing that style, I'd like to, and I'll put this in the direction, I'd like you to to also track the total time. So you'll look at the clock when you start, use your stopwatch to do the three minutes, and then look at the clock when you stop. So you'll have obviously three minutes of holding time, but what, how long did that take you would be interesting to me. The other thing you can do is use an elevated position, particularly if you have some pressure in the back when holding these planks, is to, if you have a bench or a chair, you can use something like this. Get yourself elevated about 45 degrees, that takes pressure off your shoulders, forces weight down to your feet, and that's also assistance. If you're going to do that, the, the rules are the same. Try and hold the three minutes uh, if you can, and, and use your stopwatch to start started if you can't hold the three minutes. So a couple of things about doing the plank. Um, isometric holds, uh, as we talked about before in the isometric session, are hard because I don't get any rest per se on the joints that are working, the muscles that are working. Uh, if I'm feeling some burning in those areas, it's a lack of oxygen primarily. So breathing, as I've talked about in the many workouts, is crucial. Try and work on the pattern of the breath and how long can I make the cycle? How long can I breathe in? How long can I breathe out? It's at least something to think about. These uh, planks, in my opinion, are mental challenges. And certainly there's some physical stuff going on. But it's taking your mind off and disassociating what's happening in your, in your shoulders and your joints and in your core and trying to think about something else that will be your best bet in being able to hold the position. So I have a couple things that I do. Um, I count backwards, I count forwards, I shift my position around just a little bit, um, I say a, a rhyme, anything to get my, um, my mind off of what's going on and the, the sensations that I'm feeling in my body. So I'm going to do that with you right now. I'm going to walk you through how I do a three-minute plank hold. And uh, then I'd like you guys to get started on that this week. So here I have my stopwatch. Reset that. And I'll get into my plank position here. Let me get, you can see me here. And we are starting. So the first thing I'm going to do is in my front plank here is I'm going to create my box of support. So I'll get relatively wide in my, in my arms here. I have these two good platforms here at my elbows. I'm going to take my feet and get them just as wide. So I feel like I have four points of stability. And work around a little bit and, and start to try and distribute the weight throughout those four points. The other thing I, I try and do mentally is really shift weight down towards my feet. So I'll have heavy feet, heavy shins, heavy knees, you know, try and get the pressure off the shoulders. The things I talk about um, in core activation are squeeze the butt, so I'm gonna do that, belly button up and in, do that, and then try and keep my shoulders down. So that's really puts me into a good plank position. First thing I'm gonna do is try and count backwards from 30. Counting, um, counting's great because it forces you to breathe, to breathe in and out. So we'll go through it now. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. So we're just going to now shift the box a little bit. Go ahead and stick your butt in the air. That's fine with me. I'll take my feet. I'll bring them in. I take my feet, I'll bring them out, I'll readjust that box. It's okay to shift around a little bit. We're just trying to keep our body weight off the floor. Let's get into a good engaged position now. I have three 
long breaths. Really try and make that exhale phase as long as possible, all the air out. Again, I'll shift the box, put the weight up, get the feet moving around, shift your elbows. Let's get back down to the box. Push the weight down to the end of the body. Heavy toes, heavy legs, heavy feet. Let's, I'm gonna say Sally sells seashells by the seashore three times, <laughs> which is a good expiration of air. Sally sells shells by the seashore. Sally sells shells by the seashore. <laughs> so if you can think of a rhyme or something that that you like to say, then that's good to, again, try and take your mind off what's going on. Let's go ahead and count backwards now from 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. My stopwatch says uh, 310, so just over the three minute mark. So yes, I have a lot of practice on doing this, but I do want to stress that this is primarily a mental game. When we're born as babies, we mobilize ourselves parallel to the floor, right? We, we crawl. So we're built to support ourselves in the parallel position. We kind of forget as time goes on because we're able to stand up. But remember that and remember that your body will remember um, as you try and go through these and hang in there. So good luck with that, and uh, please do uh, let me know through your Trainer Eyes app, and it will be on there. Indicate um, how long you were able to hold it, and then also what your total time was uh, for the three minutes. Okay, have fun.